thank you so much for being here today. I have a different kind of video for you today. Um, I'm going to show you how I quickly made a sweet little stamp for my art journal. Now here I use um, some cardboard I had access to at my old job. It's really stiff cardstock. You could probably use some corrugated cardboard if one layer doesn't work. You could probably glue them together to make some card stock that would be stiff enough for this project. But this is, this is what I had laying around the house, so this is what I used. And I also had some foam paper I bought at Walmart. Aside from my glue gun and scissors, that's all I needed for this little project. Um, as you can see, I'm not one for measuring, so I just hold my foam paper up against my cardboard background and start chopping down to size and um, just the same way I start cutting out lines because what I'm making here is a journaling spot um, I needed I didn't need I wanted a stamp for journaling spots in my big art journal I'm currently using so as I was making the page I uploaded a video of a few days ago I um, stopped in the middle of making the page to make the stamp to continue making the page so um, here at the end of this video you'll actually see me finishing up that um, the death card journal page that I recently showed on my channel if you haven't watched that yet please check the description below so once I get all my lines cut out of my foam paper I just use my glue gun to glue them all down once again I'm not measuring this is not perfect none of my art is perfect none of my art will ever be perfect and I don't shoot for perfection so I just glue everything down and do my best on a whim as an artist and crafter I have to say my downfall is probably hot glue guns um, I don't know why I have so much trouble with them but I'm so messy I get the little hot glue hairs everywhere I always managed to get the hot glue on my fingers and it hurts and I'm a wiener and I cry about it and even just watching this video right now I'm seeing those little glue strings everywhere and it's making me so frustrated but um, yeah I don't know why I have such a problem with glue guns um, if anyone has any tips to uh, not be so stupid with a glue gun in my hand I would <laughs> really appreciate any advice and also while you're commenting let me know if you like this type of video I know this is just kind of a short quick how-to um, I've never put anything like this on my channel before over the years I'm pretty sure I haven't put anything like this on my channel over the years but if you like this sort of content let me know in your comment and it will continue to arrive so yeah just just let me know and um, while you're engaging with my content, also be sure to like this video because one like equals one more video I will make for my YouTube channel. I'd also like to take this moment to thank my patrons so much for your support. It means the world to me. Each, each of you guys get a smooch. I appreciate it. To my absurd nerd patron, Dana Keenan, you are the world to me. Thank you so much for your support. I hope you like the art that I mail you each month. All right, so I'm done making my stamp and I'm testing it out here on my journal. I had to double check and make sure it fit there perfectly and it did. So flying by the seat of my pants with measuring did in fact work. I got this very cheap ink pad from Timu and while I like it a lot, it's a very good color. It's juicy, it's bold, it's black. It takes forever to dry, um, but it does the job and the price is right. So. It is what it is, I guess. Using my glue bottle to just kind of burnish it down and get crisper lines. Since it's homemade, it's a little wonky, but I made it look pretty good, I think. And I'm really happy with the stamp I made. I've wanted one like this for years, and I'm glad I finally just sat down and made one.